hello guys how are you doing today so just a quick one I quickly want to show you guys how to transfer your model from um, cinema 4d into Revit what you need to do is for you to retain everything that you have here in cinema 4d so let's assume you've created all these things here in cinema 4d so what you need to do is make sure you break them down have the separate parts of this object so after having them you create material that you're going to put over to this object, all right? So if you notice for the shelf, I have um, the legs, which I can hide. So you notice all the things that I make the leg also have the same material. So I make the leg and also this top here, I put them as one object because I want them to have the same material. So I tag that the leg. So if you see, hiding that, see what we have, all right? So I also have, um, another part which is more like the which is going to be the um covering for the shelf so really all you need to do is make sure you have all these separate objects then put them put materials on all of them so that's the first thing the second thing you also need to do is to go over to your layer and create layer and put those things in the layer so example of how you can create layer is just coming to the layer tab beside this attribute right click here then you see new layer so you can always double click to rename this for instance so if you want to put this put an object over to a layer so let me just create something here so let's assume i want this box to be in that layer so all i need to do is just drag the layer over to the object you want it to be it becomes that layer and also for material all you need to also do is you also need to add that also to a material. So basically just drag the layer over to the material and that will be added. So that's how to do that. So I'm going to delete this. Then come here, delete this. All right, so once you are done with this, then all you need to do now is transfer or save this file over to a format that you'll be able to transfer over. So Another thing is that you cannot transfer directly to Revit. The reason is because 3ds Max doesn't have a um, file extension that Revit is looking for when you want to bring in a family family um, model. So really, what Revit takes is a um, CAD file. So because we cannot export this as CAD file, so I'm going to show you how you can do that. So what you do is you come over to this file and go to export then you go to export as 3d studio so if you click on export as 3d studios it tells you to look for a place you want to export this out so i'm going to bring this over here then go over to just give it a name so this is shelf i've already done one so i'm going to override this so i'm going to call this shelf to autocad 3d expand so i'm going to save so as soon as i click on save i'll replace that then this will come up. Once this comes up, you need to know the, um, the scale of your project here. I know that my scale here is in centimeters, so you need to make sure that this is correct. So this is what you're gonna have before, millimeter. So you have to change it to centimeter here. And then, okay. So once you have exported that out, then the next thing you want to do is go over to AutoCAD that is why you will do that. So let me just close this. Okay, so once you go to AutoCAD, the first thing you also need to do is to change this unit to the one you are coming, that you have also done in Cinema 4D. So you just run the command unit, one word, and press enter. Then it's going to bring up the unit dialog box. So UN is the shortcut for unit. So it's going to bring up this unit dialog box. What you need to do is change the insertion scale from millimeter to centimeter. So everything is um, correct and will be in sync. So once you have that, the next thing you do is come over to this file and um, import. So once you go to import, we don't have 3DX here. So you just go to other formats. So as soon as you go to other formats, you're going to open this dialog box where you can pick the format you want here. So I want 3DX Studio. So this is where I save this file. So you select the file and then open. So as soon as you open the dialog box will come up. So it's going to tell you what you want to process. I want to process all the mesh. So I'm going to add all. 
bring them over to this place. Another thing I want to do is I want to save this to layer. So how do you want to save this to layer? Do you want to save it to layer based on object or by material or by object color or by single layer? Remember I added material to the object. So I want all the object, all the meshes that have the same material to be in one layer. So I'm going to export them as by material. Then once I'm done with that, I'll just click on OK. Then it's going to bring this file over here. So this is the file. So I'll just try and pan over. So P for pan and move this here. Escape. So if you look at this, it just brings it up in um, um, top view. So if, if I click on this view cube and click on home, I'm going to have this object. So it looks more like this wire. So if I change this from wireframe to conceptual, I'm going to have this. All right. So that is um, exporting this over to this place here. So the next thing I want to do in um, AutoCAD is to cross-check the layer. So if you come to the layer, I click here. It's going to load up this layer out, this layer manager. So I need to make sure that all the objects are, everything is in sync. So notice if I select the leg, you remember I put them in the leg um layer in cinema 4d so selecting this is telling me the name of the layer it's matte so that means i need to change this layer from matte to leg so also this um what's it called this um body i put this in the body layer so i'm going to look for the body so this is the body just look at the name of the layer. So I'm changing it to body. Then I know that the other one is the padding because I had three layers. So once I am done with this guy, I don't really need to do anything because all of them are all in the layer. So once I'm done with this, I'll just have to save this. So I'll save it as a DWG drawing. So I'll go to where I want to export this to. So I'll just um go to um this is where I want to export this over to the card. So I'll just make it so let me just say shelf to Revit fan. So I'm override that. So it's going to be AutoCAD file and override. So once I have this overwritten, then the next thing is for me to go over to Revit. So if I go over to Revit, so I'll create a new family. So I'll create a new family type. So this family type is going to ask me what family is it? Because what I'm bringing over is a furniture. So I'll look for the furniture family and open. So as soon as I open that, it's going to load this family. So once this family is loaded, all I need to just go and import the DWG file that I have exported from or that I've saved out from AutoCAD. So that you just wait for this to open. So I have a lot of software here. So a lot of software open. So I will just have to wait for this. All right. So we are here in the Revit. It's open. So for you to insert that, all you need to do is just go over to your insert. Then you notice you can only you can insert anything other than importing card file. So that's why I said in the first place. We need to look for a way to convert the file from Cinema 4D into CAD file. So if we click on CAD, we'll go to what we need. So we know it's here in my um, this A card. So this is the family that we want. So we just click here. So once you have that selected, you want to preserve the color. Remember the color coming from um, Cinema 4D, you want to preserve that. Then you want to bring in all layers. I don't want visible, I want all layers to be imported. So just click on open. So as soon as you do that, this will be loaded. And then once this is loaded, you're fine. You can just, so this is the file. So if I go to 3D, you see this object. So if I change this to shaded, you can always go and change this color here by going to the manage and go to object style. So once you go to object style, you want to go to the to imported objects. So if you go to imported objects, you see all the layers that we have. You see the layers? These are the layers. 
So you can always now come to the material and give it a different material that you want. So let's say for the body, just click here. So for the Revit user, you understand how to add material. So just basically go into this and start adding the materials that you want. So that will come up. So that is um how you can bring in your so let's see brown if we have brown um let's say we want this birch then for okay so this is meant to be the body is meant to be the birch so meant to be this shouldn't be break actually so let's just look for let's look for wood since it's furniture so look for very dark wood material so i think this should fine let's see if we have i think we'll go with this laura then go to the padding here. Look for birch wood. So we are going to pick this. Then for the leg, it's meant to be metal. So I'll just say gold to look for gold material. So let's say this. We'll apply you have this so you have this if you go to realistic you should have that material loaded here so you see this so you can always put this in a project so if i create a project now just create a new project and make it an architecture project so all i need to just load this into the project and voila i can just use this furniture here in Revit. So what I usually do is I always save this furniture so that every time I need this, I don't really need to go and import anymore. I have this as my library, so I can always have the furniture at my reach. Every time I model in Cinema 40, I can bring them here in Revit, turn them to family, so they are now part of my library in Revit. So I don't really need to look for this anymore. So if I just load into projects, so I have this furniture here. So if you see this, I have that furniture loaded. So if I bring in my camera, so these are the furniture. Okay, so we can work with this, render this and all that. So this is what I just wanted to share with you guys. So if you feel this was helpful, please do give me a like, um, share this because it helps me in YouTube algorithm. But, and also if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe because I do tutorials like this every time. So do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.